everyone. I'm afraid I haven't sleep off this illness. <laughs> so I'm st <coughs> still not very well. But it's Monday today and I've spent the entire day in bed other than going to the doctors. I'm hoping that this clears up quickly though because I am meant to be a lot of things this week. I've already had to cancel two. So whatever happens this week, I'm sorry, it's probably going to be a bit lame. But I'm proud of myself that I'm continuing for week three. I'm really enjoying the vlog, so stick around <coughs> and hopefully things will perk up. I don't think I've ever watched so much TV and like not processed any of it. It's Tuesday, nothing's happened. I've been lying on the sofa all day. I just thought I'd update you because I'm lying in here and I just heard my dad open a packet of biscuits. That's as interesting as the day's got, but the biscuit saga continues. It's Wednesday. I'm so sorry this week has not started well. I have not been very well. And I'm not feeling great, but I want to go out tonight and my mum doesn't want me to go, so I don't want her to hear me saying that I don't feel very well, but, <laughs> but I feel like if I stay in for another day, I'm going to go insane, so I need to leave the house. And I'm going to see 9 to 5, which is like so chill and it will be fun. I've got some really nice under eye bags occurring. I'm sorry. Week three. I mean, we made it two weeks, which is kind of impressive. And it was going to fail at some point, wasn't it? So at least it was because of illness and not just me sucking. Hopefully things will look up from here. And if not, I'm sorry, this is just going to be a rubbish vlog. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> but I'll take you along. I know no one's here for fashion tips. In fact, I don't know. <laughs> Firstly, no one is here because I'm not a successful YouTuber. Secondly, I doubt you for fashion tips because I'm not the one to give fashion tips. But I actually do have one for you. Now, I didn't make this up. I saw it on Instagram, but I thought it might be useful for some other people. Over the Christmas time, we wear a lot of jumpers and I'm going to show you it. So, I have this jumper on, as you can see, and a skirt. But did you know it is, in fact, a long jumper? So what you do, now I look like Miss Trunchbull. You put a belt on, right? And then you just pull the jumper up like this. And my skirt's also too big so it's not so effective because it falls down. Um, you pull the jumper up, all the way around. I can't just do that, so pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Then, it looks short. I don't know if that's helpful, but I think it's quite cool and hopefully someone else will benefit. Fashion. Guys, Grace and I just got our first ever free Pret. Dreams come true. Thanks, Pret. Apparently, this is the Knight Rider, the Hoff's car. We don't know what that means, but oh look, it's got flashing lights. Mm, that's all I know about cars. Here you see, it says the Knight. Here we are. Last time we came to 95, we were together and uh, Grace really enjoyed it. So I asked her to come along a second time and here she is. Here I am. It's David Hasselhoff's gala night. We'll report back on what I think of him. Double chin. Interval. Interval. It's great. It's like really good. It's amazing. David has no timing, but he's he hilarious. Does, As in, he has no musical timing. His comedic timing is good. I really like it. It's I like really a really like good it. show. It's my favourite. Yeah. I've seen this so far this year. Really? Probably, yeah. I know quite a lot of people that have seen it and they've been like, oh, it's so inappropriate, it's so sexist, but that's literally the point. That's the show. point. Of anyway, the thing. hey, we're going to uh, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wrong <laughs> had a really good time at the show despite not being in the best of health or spirits I suppose but Grace was great company and she thoroughly cheered me up as did the wonderful Georgia Garling on the train and in the car. As always she's always a beacon of entertainment and joy. So that is when Wednesday over and out. See you tomorrow. Hi vlog, 
it is Thursday. I'm actually checking the day today because I keep saying the wrong day. But it's voting day. We've just been to vote. I hope everyone else voted if you're old enough. Um, and later I'm going to see Nativity, the musical. And that's pretty much my plan for the day. Hello, it's Thursday. It is Thursday. This is Jordan. We're at Nativity, the musical, and it's press night. And we'll see you in the show. We're waiting for Amy Press too, but she's not here. Rude. Um, so see you in the show. Hey guys. We're at Nativity. We're at Nativity. We s well, when I say we, I spill <laughs> water everywhere. This girl's come and sat in front of us. This little a child. And she keeps moving the seats. It's really irritating. Anyway, the show. The show's great. great. Simon Lincoln. Simon Lincoln. The crush is back, baby. I love him. He's great. What? He's so good. When he did his little falsetto at the start. Mm. Amazing. Oh, and by like the way, Amy made it. Because I said earlier you weren't here. Amy's oh, <laughs> I made it. I'm back from Reading for one night only. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I'm 16. Yeah, I mean Simon Lipkin, my love knows no bounds, so I had to come back. Cut. <laughs> we hate the girl in front of us, and she's about yeah, four. <laughs> it's bad parenting, whatever. Bye. <laughs> what day is it today? Friday. I vlog. It's Friday. I have an update to do all week. Friday, <laughs> Friday, gotta go to work on Friday. <sighs> that is Georgia <laughs> I've done nothing this week. It's been a really boring week. I'm sorry, but love's boring. And hopefully next week will be more fun because it's nearly Christmas. Vlog, I've still achieved nothing today. I had a drink with Georgia, who you would have just heard in the background of the previous clip. And I'm about to do my mince pies again. Uh, I did actually make the pastry. I made the pastry earlier today, but I didn't film it because it was like kind of boring. Um, but I've made that, so I'm going to make some more mince pies. And that's it. I've got such a boring day. And my family are out for the whole weekend, so I'm just home alone. Bored. It's Saturday and it's quite late in the day and I've not filmed and I feel like that's the theme of this week and I know I keep saying sorry but I really am sorry that this week has not been that great. But tonight I am off to see Curtains the musical with my friend Charlotte who has not been in the vlog yet so tonight will be her vlog debut. Let's go see Curtains. How do you say Curtains in an American accent? Curtains. 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 We're going to see Curtains. I vlog. It's the oh. interval of curtains. Hey, Charlotte. No. I'm making my debut. You're not in the, in, in my the vlog. <laughs> Charlotte's my vlog. vlog. My vlog debs. <laughs> vlog debut. The yes. poor thing when I watch it. Um, we're seeing curtains, the musical. Mm. Charlotte's friend is in it, so she got us tickets. Woo, thanks, Charlotte's friend. Um, That's actually like incorrect. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Thank you, London Theatre Direct. Oh, thanks, London Theatre Direct. Not Charlotte's friend, but no. also Charlotte's friend is in it. <laughs> yeah, she is, but she's not very nice. She didn't get us tickets, Aww. so. Also, we might miss our train home, so <laughs> we're trying we're to make our stressed. way further to the towards the end of yeah. the end of the road. We've switched so we seats so that we can get further up the road, so that we've got less stress to get out. But we might not make it. But we'll keep you updated if we make it. So see you on such track fun. two. It's thrilling, Southwestern, always keeping us on our toes. There's a show stop. <laughs> Another show stop. But um. We've got to get the train because yeah. they're on strike. So, not ideal. <laughs> Charlotte's updating her Instagram fans on the show stop. I wasn't sure where to look. Um, so, yeah, if we didn't catch that, there's a show stop. So, we might not actually get the train. <laughs> well, we, no, we will get the train. We'll just have to not find out who did the murder. Which is like, <laughs> you know, the whole reason. The main bit. But oh well, the, the joy point. of live theatre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Sunday, we've made it to Sunday, everybody. Congratulations, well done. Good work, good teamwork. Um, oh God, another week gone, this is crazy. I know this week has been not so full of stuff, but I'm still impressed at myself that I've got through another week, you know? Another week of vlogging, not another week of life, although equally impressive. Um, but I'm just about to go and pick up the dog and it's a lovely day today. I didn't update you last night. We did actually get the train We left slightly early from the show But we did find out like who did the murder and that because it was a murder mystery So we didn't actually miss anything, um, but we made the train and it was it was fine We were a bit stressed about leaving early, you know, like getting the people to move But we asked the guy we switched seats with some people so that we were close to the end And then we told the guy at the end that we were gonna leave early so he was very nice and he let us out <laughs> um, But yeah, we made it so so I've got to go. I've got to go and get the dog because I said I'd be there ages ago and I have not been there. Um, but yeah, happy Sunday. Goodbye. See you later. Hi. Sorry about the background noise. Dad's got the TV on the loudest volume possible. But I've just come to let you know about a TV program that I've been watching. So basically, on the train on Tuesday, George said, Olivia, I think this program's going to be right up our street. We should watch it. So we've started it and it's Virgin River on Netflix, which sounds like a thriller where they sacrifice people, but it's not. It's like a countryside rom-com where the lead lady is a nurse and it's just really good. It's really romantic and dramatic. And I'm now on the final episode on the Sunday, so you can't say we're not committed. Georgia is also on the final episode, so... <laughs> We like to uh, pride ourselves on watching TV programmes well. And yeah, I'd really recommend it if anyone's looking for something new to watch. It's not Christmassy, but it's quite a like cosy feeling programme, so good for this time of year. So uh, I'm not, you know, hashtag spawned by Virgin River, but I would really recommend it. Go watch. Mum's trying to tell me I'm vain for taking photos when I'm actually vlogging. I'm keeping the vlog updated for the third week. Yeah. Um, tonight I am off to see the Red Shoes at Sadler's Wells. I've actually never been to Sadler's Wells. So that'll be a new experience on a Sunday. What more could you ask for? I really have absolutely no idea what to expect, but I think quite a lot of people that I know are going. So I'm sure we'll bump it into some pals and have a nice evening. Very civilised, very festive, very nice. So see you at the theatre. We're sorry that your journey will take longer than planned. Well, this evening did not go as planned. Southwestern Railway suck. Not that we need a confirmation of that, we knew that anyway. But they cancelled the trains and then delayed all the trains, so I couldn't get there. So I've now missed it. And Mum can't pick me up, and I'm furious. <laughs> it's absolutely outrageous. Isn't that outrageous? I mean, it really is. It's not the way you want to spend a Sunday, is it? And I spent £10 on my ticket, and now I'm going to have to go there when I'm not meant to be there to try and get the money back. And ugh. It's just ridiculous and it's outrageous and I'm furious and I've missed the ballet and now I'm not going to reach my show goal of the year and just everything is just going wrong but I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> like and subscribe people, like and subscribe.